for the three of you who don't know, Hillary Clinton decided to once again attack Bernie Sanders, this time in a recent taping of the Howard Stern Show. Apparently, that's still a thing. I've never been a fan. Um, but nonetheless, she attacked Bernie Sanders, and it just demonstrates how little of a person she is. She's still bitter over 2016, which is funny because out of all the candidates who were screwed in 2016, it was Bernie Sanders who really was screwed the most. Nonetheless, she's a poor sport, and she proceeded to attack him. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this, even though it's largely old news by now, and even though I like to try to avoid Hillary Clinton as much as possible on this channel, because I hate relitigating 2016, but here we are. Um, the reason why I'm talking about this is because Bernie Sanders actually responded, and it showed that he is a class act, and regardless of how loathsome Hillary Clinton is, regardless of her claiming that when they go low, we go high, it's actually Bernie Sanders who practices that philosophy. But for those of you who hadn't seen it, to give you some context, she was talking about Russia trying to get Donald Trump elected in 2016, and of course she threw Bernie Sanders in with that red baiting, and then that led to a rant about how terrible Bernie Sanders is. Take a look. Like, hey, let's do everything we can to elect Donald Trump. I mean, that's, those, those are quotes. Those are taken, words they Those said. are words yeah. that taken, and they also said Bernie Sanders, but, you know, that's another for another day. Do we day. hate Bernie Sanders? What? Do we hate Bernie Sanders? No, I don't hate anybody. Bernie could have endorsed you quicker uh, after he you beat He him. hurt me. There's no doubt about it. He hurt me. But going back to the indictments, because that's right. what's really important. Have you ever spoken to Bernie about that? No. No. You haven't I mean, talked to him? I don't talk to him. Yeah, I mean, we did when he finally endorsed me and all that. But and you're he, upset with him? No, I'm disappointted. Disappointed. Okay. okay. So, and, and I hope he doesn't do it again to whoever gets the nomination. Right. Once is enough. We yeah. got We have to, yeah, things are very we have to right join now. forces yes. and, you know, people could speculate and, and have some good reason to speculate about how bad it might be with uh, Trump in the White House. Now we know there's no guesswork. I mean, I'd like to say unbelievable, but really it is believable. Hillary Clinton is never going to take responsibility for her failures in 2016, and she blames everyone but herself. Now, she said Bernie Sanders could have endorsed her quicker and, quote, he hurt me. There's no, do no doubt about it. He hurt me. He endorsed you in spite of the fact that his fans and supporters did not want him to endorse you. If it were me, I would have been a bitter bitch and not endorsed Hillary Clinton in 2016 after the DNC's fuckery. But nonetheless, Bernie Sanders cared more about the country and decided to put everything aside and he tried to defeat Donald Trump and he endorsed you even if he wasn't technically mathematically eliminated, which, you know, was actually the case with you in 2008. You were mathematically eliminated, but you stayed in the race late and you didn't want to endorse Barack Obama because you thought, well, you know, maybe if he gets assassinated, then I could assume the position as Democratic Party nominee. Now, thankfully, she has, you know, expressed regret over that horrible remarks, but really, out of all people, Hillary Clinton is the last person I want to hear about, right, about party unity, because as we are, um, you know, seeing this competitive Democratic Party primary play out, and she talks about, you know, the need for us to all come together, here she is being divisive yet again. And she says, I hope that Bernie Sanders doesn't do it again to whoever gets the nomination this time. In other words, she's taking a dig at Bernie Sanders here, saying he's going to lose, so make sure, Bernie, that when you do lose, not if, but when you lose, you fall in line sooner. You know, don't do what you did in 2016. Actually fall in line. It doesn't matter if you still technically have a chance and you're not mathematically eliminated. Just fall in line, Bernie. So, I mean, when you combine the McCarthyist fear-mongering, the questioning of his loyalties to the party, as well as the fears that he'll hurt the eventual 2020 nominee, who definitely won't be him, according to Hillary Clinton, she is ironically doing what she claimed hurt her. She's hurting the eventual nominee with all of this divisiveness by not falling in line herself and supporting Bernie Sanders because Bernie could very well be the nominee. He's in second place currently. So everything she's saying about Bernie here is contradicted by the fact that he could be the nominee. And Democratic Party loyalists, they loved that Hillary Clinton said this about Bernie Sanders. And even if they cry party unity at every chance they get, you know, they celebrated this. CNN's Chris Saliza penned an article unironically titled, Hillary Clinton absolutely destroyed Bernie Sanders in her Howard Stern interview. I mean, it's you guys who preach unity. 
unity. So if you're the ones who preach unity, practice what you preach. Unify behind Bernie Sanders, who has the best chance at beating Donald Trump, who's a top-tier candidate who could very well win this entire thing. Are you guys actually going to fall in line? and support Bernie Sanders in the same way that you told us to support Hillary Clinton? See, what I will predict is that there's going to be a lot of people who are Democratic Party loyalists who will rationalize voting for Donald Trump or rationalize voting third party after they condemned people in 2016 for not falling in line and supporting Hillary Clinton. Like, we will see, you know, hypocrisy like we've never seen before in American politics. It's going to be, you know, quite the sight. Now, on top of that, she didn't just attack progressive politicians like Bernie Sanders. She attacked progressive policies in the most elitist and condescending way imaginable. Bernie Sanders, and this was a perception I had. Mm -hmm. You would say a policy when you right. were running against right. him for the nomination. Right, right. And the next day you go, yeah, well, free college for everyone. Yeah. It's almost yeah. like when you run for a, a fifth grade class. Yeah, right. That's I'll give right. you free yeah. everything. Chocolate milk for Chocolate everybody. Chocolate milk for everyone and yeah. more recess. <laughs> yeah. More in other pizza. Words, and then it makes it and look then, like you're a stick in the mud. I know. And then when you say, well, wait a minute, it, where, where's no the sense. money going to come from? Then you're, what a matter? Are you against free college? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, you, yes, because free college is just like chocolate milk. And out of all the policies to attack, free college is one of the cheapest. It costs approximately $80 billion. So all you need is a Wall Street financial transaction tax, and you pay for college. In fact, as Brett Banditelli put it, where's the money going to come from? Right there. It's going to come from elites like you and Howard Stern, because between the two of them, somebody pointed out that they're worth almost a billion dollars. So I'm so sick of the rich splaining. I'm sick of the smugness, the condescension. You know, these Democratic Party establishment figures, they will be the first to cry about unity if it benefits them. But when it doesn't benefit them, when it seems like Bernie Sanders could actually win this entire thing, then all of a sudden they are as divisive as they claim we were. It's unbelievable. Now, Bernie Sanders, he never takes the bait. And I really give him credit because all the things that she did, like if I were Bernie, I would be a bitter bitch right now. But Bernie Sanders is a bigger person than me. Um, and he responded with class. He responded simply by saying, look, I did everything I could to get her elected. One of the problems you have in this state, a lot of Clinton voters who are unhappy with uh, what's the, the leftovers of that campaign. And she told Howard Stern, uh, that one of the things that hurt her in the November election uh, was your uh, endorsement didn't come soon enough. She said, he hurt me. There's no doubt about it. And I hope he doesn't do it again to wh whoever gets the nomination once it's enough. What's your reaction to that? Well, I'm sorry that Hillary Clinton is rerunning 2016. And if I had it on you, I could take out a letter from Hillary Clinton saying, thank you, Bernie, for working so hard to try to make me the president of the United States. Let's be clear. In the last, during my efforts to get Hillary Clinton elected and to defeat Donald Trump, I ran to something like 14, 15, 16 states right here in Iowa, okay? I worked as hard as humanly possible. We did dozens and dozens of rallies around this country. Now, what I tried to do after she won the primary is to sit down with her staff, and we did to create a democratic platform that was as progressive as it could be. And that ended up happening. So, you know, I don't want to rerun 2016. Right now, our goal is to defeat Donald Trump. I think I'm the strongest candidate to do that. If it turns out that I am not the democratic nominee, I will strongly support anybody else. So, I mean, I give Bernie credit. I give him credit because after enduring what he put up with in 2016, I would not be that big of a person. Like, I would not have endorsed Hillary Clinton. I would have sat out 2016 after I dropped out. I would have been a dick because, I mean, for the DNC to not just put their finger on the scale, but sit on the scale and rig the entire process against him, create this joint fundraising agreement with her and the DNC, so she had to sign off on their press releases. I mean, uh, having superdelegates won before anyone cast their vote. I mean, that process was incredibly fucked up. So for him to be a big person and, you know, do all of that to help her win after she fucked him over, I mean, it just goes to show you what type of a person Bernie Sanders is. He is a genuine, kind-hearted person, and he cares more about the country than himself and, you know, Democratic par Party politics. 
Um, now, that letter that he was referencing, I actually have it, and I want to read some of it from you. So, it says, Thank you so much for campaigning on my behalf. I remain so deeply grateful for your commitment to the future we want to build together. So, do you understand? Hillary Clinton is all of a sudden changing her tune because, well, you know, I just want to blame Bernie Sanders. I'm not, I'm not angry at him. I'm just disappointed. Look, if anything, Hillary Clinton is such a divisive figure inherently now because everything she says is negative that this isn't actually going to hurt Bernie. It can only help him at this point because people don't like Hillary Clinton. They view her as the establishment, rightfully so. And by her essentially making an anti-endorsement of Bernie Sanders, that actually helps him. So, I mean, I'll leave that there. I try to go out of my way to avoid talking about Hillary Clinton. I don't like the speculation about her running again. I just, I don't like hearing about people who are largely irrelevant, who have no power, you know, in Democratic Party politics, but she is influential to a degree. And when she says things like this, it is, in fact, divisive. It's like pouring salt in the wounds that still do very much exist. So, you know, my message to Hillary Clinton is, fuck off. We don't like you. You will never be president. So maybe stop trying to attack the person who is a front runner who can actually beat Donald Trump, unlike you. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.